what was that day like when they went and got you? Actually, it was kind of a good day. I'll be honest with you. Um, prior to that, a year and a half before that, um, I had a type of spiritual experience that I talk about in my book, From Copper to Christian. I'm going to give you the information for it. And uh, I had a spiritual experience. Uh, I think it was 15 months before I got arrested. And I started looking for Christ, to be honest with you. So I'm out on the street now. Like walking a toddling fence, because I didn't know which way to go. I seen the truth. I knew God was there. And I also knew what I was doing wrong. I couldn't get out of it at the time. There was no way to get out. I mean, I'm running a crew up there. We're having our own family. We're putting together. You know, I was really deep in Cousin Nostra. So there was no way for me to get out of it. And I used to pray to God, God, how am I going to get out of this? Because I didn't want it no more. I didn't want it anymore. And um, finally, they came and arrested me. And it was great. The day they came and arrested me, they came in. They were gentlemen. Uh, surrounded my house, knocked on the door, let them in. I knew I did with them. I knew this Ronnie was a rat. I knew what was happening. I wasn't stupid. And uh, anyway, um, they cuffed me up. They take me out. And as I'm going out, I felt like a yoke broke off my shoulders. And it felt great. It, like, wow, what just happened? And I realized the burdens that I was carrying around on my shoulders. And I realized at that time that that was God. And I'm out. So that's why I was happy that day. Now I could go in, I'll face prison. You know, we, we're on the street. We know we got to do that. So, you know, they wanted to give me 10 to 12 years. We were fighting for the 10 or the 12 at the time. But I was getting reindicted, superseded on murder. Why well, I was picked up on that charge. So first it was good, then it turned bad. You know? Yeah, yeah. It does okay. all the time, right? Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, I don't do my 10 years. I'm, I'm all right. Come home, I'm going to retire. I have plans to go to Florida with my family. So, yeah. But plans and things don't work out the way we want them, does it? All the time. <laughs> no. It really no. No. So what was this murder charge about? Well, I really can't talk too much about it because there were several. But I can't talk about them because there was other people involved. Oh, okay. You know, and, you know, as I was, so what happened was a very close friend of mine, May guy in the Patriarca film and my partner at one time. Why I'm in uh, Plymouth County, first getting arrested, he was already in there for something else. And he said, Bobby, there's rare indictments coming down. You should call your lawyer, you know, and see what's going on. Sure enough, I call my lawyer. He brings down an ex US uh, retired uh, AUSA from the Boston office, Monty Bedro. He said, Bobby, they got you cold on a murder. All your friends are giving you up. Uh, they're laughing about it up there. They got you now. You're not going to get out. He said they couldn't indict you on this uh, grand jury because I was sitting on the Joey Molino grand jury up in Boston. They can't come at you with all these different things at one time. But he said as soon as this grand jury is gone and the new one sits, you're going to get indicted for murder. So Monty told me, so why don't you go talk to him? So I'm not going to do that. I'm not, not going to be a rat. I'm not going to talk to nobody. But after a few weeks, my stomach's turning. There's guys around me. I don't know who the rats are. And uh, I finally went and I talked with them. I ended up doing that. But I didn't go through with it. I ended up going to trial twice. First trial, I got uh, 235 months. Lost that one. Went the second time and lost that. But they reduced it to 15-8. Uh, so I ended up getting 47 months off. Damn. So in total, I did 13-9 in the feds on that so job. So 13 years and nine months, is that what that is? Yep. Damn. Yep. So <clears throat> let's see. So how, you know, when you were in there, I mean, what, what were you doing? Were you just, you know, really studying up on God or what, what was the, you know, kind of the situation? Yeah. Well, I'll tell you what happened. You know, I got locked up at Plymouth in the beginning and I had time to read. So I picked the Bible up and then I started reading the Bible and really enjoyed it. And I'm starting to gain all this knowledge. And at that time, I was having visions and little visions and dream visions. And I seen something going on with me, you know. When I got in the feds, I ended up uh, joining a uh, college school thing. And uh, I did a four-year course, four course in theology. 
I finished it at two and a half years. I ended up with a 3.8 GPA. You know, I did well, you know, and uh, I started teaching in the prisons. I was a theologian and I started uh, programs in the prison with that. And I ended up becoming an education teacher and I ended up becoming, uh, uh, I put programs together for the guys that were going home because I was in the construction business. So now the guys were going home and teaching them how to read tape measures, concrete, the whole thing, you know. So I taught a lot in there. And that was like real, what I really loved to do at the time. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, you can still tell you, you, you still love teaching. I mean, you do oh, with yeah. your show and stuff too. I mean, well, you know, of... every Sunday, Robert Luisi Ministries were up there. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, I know. And then even with, you know, the, you know, the mafia, the Wednesday light, Wednesday night lives and yep. everything. I mean, you get to talk to everybody, you know, and so, yeah, I mean, you're definitely doing, you know, something positive now. I mean, you definitely made a negative, a major negative into a positive, man. So yes, that's awesome. Yes, I did. Well, God did that. Praise mm -hmm. God. You know? <laughs> So, uh, okay, for the big question, would you ever recommend this life to anyone? Absolutely not. It's a foolish life to get into now. Um, I couldn't, I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. You know, what's at the end? Death or prison? Nothing good is going to come out of this life. Prison is going to be a revolving door if you don't get a life sentence. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it for anybody. All my friends that are home, and we went through the wall together. Most, the majority of them don't even want to know nothing. They're trying to work and do legit things now. It's just not worth it anymore. Now, so, and, and again, when I came home, you could come home and try to get back in, but you know what you're doing? You're walking into someone else's indictment. You don't know who's in trouble for what, who's being watched, what they're doing. You could come home half innocent and pick another bit up if you're around the wrong people. Because you know what the feds do. They only need conspiracy. They need no evidence, just conspiracy. So I stood far away from everybody when I came home. Yeah. <clears throat> kind of talk about the RICO charge. I mean, because that was uh, what impl implicated you then with your crimes? Um, They tried to RICO me in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But all they could get, because you, they need a few predicate acts to do that. But all they really could get me on solo was the uh, cocaine. And so they picked me up on the cocaine. Yeah, They were trying, like I said, trying to get me to sell swag, bookmaking, do different things with them that I wouldn't do. This is what they were trying to involve me in. So now they can recall me. And with drugs in there, it could have been a life sentence. Especially with the murders that they brought in after. Hey, thanks for watching this clip. This clip came from one of my interviews I did in the past. Please hit subscribe if you want to get more clips like this. Also, if you want to watch the full interview, I'll put a link in the description. Or you can hit the button on the screen to watch the full interview.